our leaders. In Toastmasters, feedback is known as evaluation. And also, evaluation is the heart of Toastmasters educational program. To improve your communication and leadership skills, you should master the art of delivering and receiving effective feedbacks. Today, I'm going to share how to master the evaluation speech skills. Stay tuned. These are some of the general points to consider before you deliver an evaluation speech. The tone and the content of the evaluation speech have a great impact on the speaker. Hence, use friendly yet constructive feedback. And also, you should not evaluate the speaker. Instead, you should evaluate only the speech. Also, keep in mind, giving evaluation is to provide constructive feedback. It is not to criticize the speaker. There should be a balance between the two extremes. You should not be too harsh or you should not be too kind when you deliver your evaluation speech. These are the points to consider before the speech. Read the project. Obtain the project manual from the speaker and be familiar with the project description and the objectives. And also, be familiar with the project guideline. Read the evaluation guide for the project. The evaluation guide explain what should you look at when you evaluate the speech. Most importantly, you should talk with the speaker before the speech. Then you can be familiar with the speaker and identify the common and specific goals of the speaker. Hence, in your evaluation speech, you can focus on them too. Make sure you sit on a place where you can see and hear the speaker well. Now, these are the points you should consider while your speaker is delivering the speech. You should not distract yourself. And also, you can feel the evaluation guideline while the speaker is delivering the speech. Now, let's consider what should you focus once the speaker has finished the speech. You can complete the evaluation guideline and this is the time to prepare yourself for the verbal presentation. As you will not have sufficient time to elaborate each and every point, you can select some of the important points and elaborate them. In general, you can comment on the eye content, use of the speaking area, use of props, usage of the English language, the vocal varieties, pitch, voice variation, the organization of the speech, and also about the hand and body gestures. Many Toastmasters use sandwich method to deliver evaluation speech, that is, to include your suggestions in between two positive comments. As the evaluator, you should evaluate only the areas where the speaker has power to change. For an example, you should not comment about the accent of the speaker. And also, you have to be specific and simple while delivering the speech. Keep in mind, you as the evaluator, speaking on behalf of you, hence use the word I. You are not speaking on behalf of the audience. Hence, do not use the word we. Don't repeat the points which you have already made as it sounds like nagging. And also, you cannot comment about the time usage of the speaker. As a practice, after delivering your evaluation speech, follow up with the speaker and clarify any doubts. And also, to improve your evaluation skills, it's better to follow up with your audience and get their feedback as well. Also, conclude your evaluation speech with a positive note. 
Hence, your speaker will build his self-confidence and self-esteem, which encourages him to deliver his future projects. Fellow Toastmasters, by mastering your evaluation speaking skills, you will definitely be a critical thinker and also a better listener. These skills will be useful in your personal life as well as official life. Hence, learn to evaluate effectively. Fellow Toastmasters, if you think our video tutorial is educational and effective for you, please share with your friends and also subscribe.